I used to sound way different. Like I used to go for such a more different sound, like a more poppy sound, I guess. Not like this deep, dark, like kind of sound. I eventually just started kind of using the baritone that I discovered within me to my advantage and just implementing it into my art. Going back when I wrote Daylight, I just moved to Los Angeles. I was in the studio and I was working on a different song actually. And I started messing around on piano, just writing a different idea during a break that I took. The chorus just kind of came out. I started singing. I was just like, dang, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Telling myself I won't go there. Oh, but I know that I won't care. Trying to wash away all the blood I've spilled This lust is a burden that we both share Two sinners can atone from a long prayer Souls tied intertwined by our pride and guilt Like telling yourself you won't go there, it's just that darkness that can inherit in your life if you give in to certain things and you have these certain temptations. And then the next line is kind of your realization of like, oh, but I know that I won't care because I've done it before, I've messed up before, like I'm not perfect, but it's this like constant, like uphill battle to the daylight, I guess. There's darkness in the distance from the way that I've been living. But I know I can't resist it. At this point, after verse one, person's already given into that thing that they know that they shouldn't have. Like visually, they see like this black cloud, like they see the darkness coming and it's infiltrating their life. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. You and I drink the poison from the same vine. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time Hiding all of our sins from the daylight From the daylight, running from the daylight From the daylight, running from the daylight Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time The chorus is really the climax in the story in Daylight. Like, I wrote it from such a vulnerable place in my heart I was giving into darkness that grew in my life like a root beneath a tree. I knew I should be giving more into the light. Telling myself it's the last time Can you spare any mercy that you might find If I'm down on my knees again Deep down, way down, Lord, I try, try to follow your life, but it's night time. Please don't leave me in the end. In the way I wrote it, it's me speaking to God, essentially saying, like, I'm sorry, I know I need to get away from this thing, and I'm trying my best. Is there any mercy that you can find to spare me? Yeah, it's just my cry out, just like, can't do this by myself. There's darkness in the distance. I'm begging for forgiveness. But I know I'm my resistance. Oh. A lot of the times it's super hard to forgive ourselves, even after we've tried so hard to get that forgiveness. And when we receive it or when we're trying to receive it we know that we're going to resist the forgiveness because of all the shame all the guilt all the baggage that came with it and just how hard we are on ourselves rather than letting it go and just casting your cares away this is something that we're, we're all dealing with like we're all battling this thing knowing what's right and our goal <laughs>